S K Vijay joins us. He's a former member, engineering and electrical of the Indian Railways. And the reason that we asked him to join us is because I'm hoping Mr. Vijay can try and explain the kind of signalling system which was in place at Palasore at this moment, not what is being promised and what is being claimed, but the system that existed at this moment. And what do you think could have led to a tragedy as terrible as this? Mr. Witch, I think you're on mute. If you unmute Hello. yourself, yeah, go ahead. I hear you now. Yeah. Uh, from the information I have gathered from the media and otherwise, the Coromandel Express was running at full speed. Okay. Similarly, the other express train was running at full speed. Now, these are possible only if the Signals right from advance starter, starter, home, inner distant, outer distant, all have been lowered. No, so one second. When you say full speed, what's the full speed for these kind of trains at this moment? I I I would uh, say 130 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now there would have been some uh, point defect, perhaps. What does a point defect mean? There is a, whenever there is a uh, line and a route is set for the loop line, maybe the one loop line or the second loop line, there are points which consist of not just two single rails, there are two single rails in addition to that, there is a switch which switches the route to the loop line. Now there is a sharpened, uh, you know, front uh, tongue rail which we call that enables the train to enter into the deviative group. This happens manually or electronically? No, no, it happens electronically. It happens with electrical motors. It happens with relays in the relay room. And there are ground uh, installations of rodding and motors. Electrical okay, so motors. what should have happened which probably didn't happen which led to an accident of this nature? Now, I would imagine that there was some point defect. But the train was being passed or was intended to be passed and maybe somebody attempted to manipulate a relay. No, I don't understand. For just, just take it one by one. What does the point effect mean? What does it mean in the real world? Like just explain proper simple English. Point effect means the point setting of the uh, tongue rail with the stock rail was not getting detected and therefore the signaling would not get lowered if it is not detected. Okay. And therefore, it appears that somebody manipulated the relay to uh, enable the signal being brought down. But the, in the process, the train uh, came to the spot and took the deviated route. No, so once again, when you say somebody manipulated, are you, Mr. Witt, suggesting that there could have been potentially a sabotage? Is that what you're suggesting? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm not saying that because there is a station master and a signal man who together have access to the uh, relay room. They alone individually cannot have access. So both of them together consent to doing something and thereafter the signal man may have enter the relay room to enable the detection of that point having been set for a route. Now in that process a mistake could have happened that the train entered the loop line but the signal had already been taken up for the main line. And there are in the loop line it collided and its engine you have seen mounted on the goods train uh, top. And the other train on the opposite side, it hit the derailed vehicles and there was a derailment in that Havla Express train also. And that is what has led to a big disaster. I mean the disaster by entering the loop line itself was very, very big, but it became even much bigger. And this type of accident is a great tragedy.